Hey yo everyone, this is Kohaku, creator of Electron Graphics. Welcome to my channel. This is a new series of mine where in addition to a speed paint, we'll be talking about different topics like art and other creative stuff. Lots of creative thinking going to happen here. And I'll try to do a video bi-weekly, so stay tuned. Before we start, the drawing I'm working on today is a Patreon commission brought to you by Panzer. The first part of the speed paint kind of didn't record properly, so You'll just have this one. Anyway, let's begin. So, as seen in the title, today's topic is science fiction and fantasy. Or, more specifically, what's the difference anyway? It's interesting to note that the difference is basically boiled down to what the particular story is rooted in. Either it's rooted in logic and reality, which makes it a sci-fi, or it's rooted in imagination with no real basis of reality, such as fantasy. Now, this has me thinking a lot about rules we may put on ourselves when being creative. For example, we generally tend to associate science fiction with more futuristic settings or things associated with our common era. And fantasy with somewhat older settings, kind of like medieval ages. But why should we limit ourselves to these common settings? Why not spice things up a bit and see how it works? All you need to set the genre apart is what the implied logic are in the story. Here, how about an example? Let's say you have a story about a place that takes in a medieval kingdom with large drakes or four-legged dragons without wings inhabiting the land. People are protected by these huge golems with bright white light emitting from its face and people are praying to their gods to continue to protect them from the drakes by means of its golem protectors and they highly regard the temple priests that use their magic to aid the golems. Sounds like a fantasy story, right? Well, it would be because there's no implied logical reasoning behind it. But let's switch it to sci-fi now. And to do this, we really only need to kind of add one sentence. A small group of people discovered electricity long before their time. So let's see how this story takes new light. Now, that would indicate that somehow the priests were really just engineers using their new knowledge to create robots. All the while, the common folk probably didn't understand how it works and assumed it was magic. And now, maybe the drakes weren't even dragons at all. Rather, it turned out to be some sort of distant cousin to the Komodo dragon, which is also a big four-legged lizard without wings. And it could have adapted to the European climate while maintaining its stockiness. And being a new invasive species, it could have had all the inhabitants of this kingdom spooked. Like, what is this huge lizard thing? Uh, must be a dragon. Oh, everyone's so scared. Well, now that we have a science fiction story, all because we applied a sense of logic into it. Note though that the logic doesn't have to always completely be concrete with our reality, but it can be flexible to fit more fanciful ideas because it is fiction after all. But anyway, that's just a thought for another day. And if you have any opinions about it, I'd love to read it in the comments below. How do you think these two genres differ? And if you want me to discuss any other topics like this, then hit me up with a suggestion. Well, that picture is done, and thanks for watching you guys. Links to my Patreon store and website are below, so feel free to check them out. I'll try to post regularly, and you can be sure to see some real cool stuff heading your way soon. Okay, till next time guys, Overlord out.